What's going on guys, this is David for Flix Talk Podcast, and in this episode, I'm reviewing Widows, the brand new Steve McQueen movie that a lot of people are comparing to set it off, but trust me, it's nothing like that. Now, like I just said, this movie is directed by Steve McQueen, who you guys probably remember from directing 12 Years a Slave, which I thought was an excellent film. If you guys haven't seen it, make sure you guys check that one out. And this film did come out November 16th, 2018, and it has a runtime of two hours and nine minutes. Now, a real quick synopsis of Widows. Set in contemporary Chicago, amid a time of turmoil, four women with nothing in common except a debt left behind by their dead husband's criminal activities take fate into their own hands and conspire to forge a future on their own terms. Now this film does star Viola Davis, Liam Neeson, Michelle Rodriguez, Colin Farrell, Robert Duvall, Elizabeth Debicki, Brian Tyree Henry, Daniel Kaluuya, and Cynthia Erivo, just to name a few. Now, as the synopsis states, guys, this is a crime heist type film, but it deals a lot more in the dramatic aspect. It kind of digs deep with a lot of these characters after a plan goes awry and the women of the men that were criminals are left as widows, as the title suggests, and they're dealing with the life after the death of all of their husbands. And it's just kind of the rebuilding process of what they're going to do next because the men were the breadwinners in this relationship, so they are kind of left in debt and they have to liquidate assets and they don't know what they're going to really do so it kind of puts a real life perspective of what's going on now a lot of people might think this and myself before i even saw this film i thought viola davis was you know they were living in million dollar places but still these people do have problems of their own especially dealing with death and loss and just bills piling up and not knowing how this next check is going to come in the men in these situations had all of that covered now that's taken and ripped completely from their life so they're starting from square one and i absolutely love that aspect of the movie that we get to focus on now the one drawback that i didn't really like about this film was the pacing it was very snail paced slow with a couple of spurts of excitement throughout especially from daniel kaluuya's character i thought he was really really interesting he was actually like almost like a henchman for his brother in the film jamal manning who's also running against colin farrell's character in this whole political Political race so we get a lot of things going on guys and a lot of characters kind of thrown in there but we also get to focus a lot of time developing these characters another character I really enjoyed kind of just figuring out was Colin Farrell I didn't really know what his intentions were but I'm glad we got to see him on screen because I, I feel like I haven't seen Colin Farrell in a movie in a long time and I thought he actually really bring it in this one and he was a it was a character that that really had a lot of layers to him and I really liked seeing that now another set of characters I really really did love guys was Liam Neeson and Viola Davis they were a couple and I felt like their love was genuine we got a lot of flashbacks before he died in the film because it's not a surprise guys he does die it shows it in the trailer so um, we get to see a couple of flashbacks about their kind of like their life together because it seems like they have been together for a long long time and I'm not going to give you guys any spoilers but it shows kind of some flashbacks about people in their life and a couple of scenarios that transpired into something really really big so I thought that was portrayed beautifully I thought they had an amazing Amazing, warm relationship guys and I bought it they sold it to me and I totally bought it now the other women in the film I thought really stepped it up there was a couple characters I really didn't know Michelle Rodriguez of course I knew she's always an actress that really to me doesn't push her full acting ability to 10 it's always like around 8 or 9 I want to see her just stretch that acting ability of realism a little bit more for myself other than that I really didn't have too many gripes with this movie other than the whole pacing issue of course in the third act guys we get into our whole heist aspect of everything so like I said if you guys don't know what it's about watch the trailer it tells you completely everything about this movie just at a more slower pace of what you're actually gonna see now the overall directing from Steve McQueen beautiful 12 Years a Slave, masterpiece. I thought this movie was really well shot. There was a couple of scenes that I think were a little bit experimental, especially one in particular where Colin Farrell's talking to his secretary uh, about a plan and they actually don't focus the camera inside of the car. It's actually on the outside of the car, uh, which was a little interesting shot because it does show the kind of rural urban area of Chicago and him driving to his ritzy area where he lives in the rich part 
of Chicago, which is only literally a mile away. So I thought that was a really cool, interesting experimental shot that I really hadn't seen too much of. And I kind of appreciated that from Steve McQueen. So all in all, guys, if you guys are into dramatic films that do focus on character development, this is the movie for you with a little bit of crime element sprinkled in there, especially at the end of this movie. I love how this movie ended, by the way. There is a couple of twists and turns. So if you guys like movies like Gone Girl or certain films in this realm, I definitely recommend checking out Widows. And for that, I'm going to give this a solid 8 out of 10. Might not watch it again because I already kind of know the twists and turns, but I definitely would recommend it. So a solid 8 out of 10 from me. Alright guys, thank you so much. If you guys did like this review, please give it a thumbs up. If you guys have seen this film, drop some comments below of what you liked about this film. Alright, here's my social media guys. Make sure you guys hit me up anytime you guys want. Until the next one, this is David for Flix Talk signing out, saying thanks for watching.